Hello, y'all, my esteemed viewers. Um, I am, of course, Jekyllstein Gray, and I am continuing. Today, we are continuing to play XCOM Enemy Unknown. And but before I get started, let's just click on the single player. Oh, uh, wait. There we go. Um, before we get started, I got some housekeeping to do. Um, one, I might have to suddenly leave um, this recording at a very abrupt time, so there might be little. It might not be a good like stopping part, stopping point um, that I end on if we, um, if I, um, if. Well, sorry. <laughs> Um, if I just have to sign the leave, I'm probably should be able to get a good hour in. Um, you know, but other, other life gets in the way sometimes. Um, also, um, I am a uh, college sophomore, and I am ha I and classes are starting soon, so my my upload schedule is probably going to get a lot more spotty. Uh, I'm gonna try and do, um, I'm gonna try and do, and get as much content out as possible, um, but, you know, that's kind of, uh, I'm gonna try and get as much content out as possible, but, I, uh, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, everything's completely crazy right now due to reasons that YouTube does not want me to say, um, and it's just, a, you know, back to school, you know, they have to do all the, all the things, um, so I'm gonna try and get as much recording done, um, in these next couple of days, um, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm especially, I'm, you know, since I'm Jekyllstein Grey, um, Lord of the Gothic Obscure Games, I'm going to um, be playing some of them um, for Halloween season, starting with The Last Door, and I want to get as much, you know, Halloween-y content as I can out there, so I'm going to, um, so I'm gonna play, um, I, so I'm, I'm gonna record, hopefully, as, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna record a lot of episodes of those, um, and try to, so, so I can have them out of the way, and you can have more Halloween content um, at Halloween time. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, three minutes into the video, we're finally starting the game. Uh, sorry about all the uhs and stuff. I'm still kind of like. The Situation Room this provides out, constant monitoring of every member nation in the voice. Council. Okay. If we allow panic levels to get out of so... control in any given nation, they're going I to withdraw from the council, last time, but it kind and of they'll take their different. funding and additional support with them. The yeah, council's uh, overall confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which engineering has I like the new the sticker Doom at the tracker. bottom. I guess it's not and super uncommon in games, but I like it. Nice touch. Control. Um. Council report in 31 days. Uh, alrighty, mission control. What do we, Commander, what do we got? Dr. Vallen reports that research is progressing in the labs, nice. but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Okay. Okay, so there's a timer. Um, So how do I scan? Um. The schematics for the nanofiber vest are complete, Commander. Engineering is awaiting approval for fabrication. Party, assign new research. Commander, with this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, 
We must understand their physiology. It's, inter it's interesting. Um, I was thinking about this game and what I was going to, you know, talk about um, on this episode while I was at work today, and um, I kind of, I kind of realized that um, this is a lot like a, a game. I, I don't know if you've, if you've ever heard of it, um, called Codename Steam, um, and Steam is like an acronym, um, S C A M. Thank you, Commander. And I will let you know when was, this research a, has been a completed. 3DS game that I played years ago. I never finished it. Um, but it was created by intelligence systems. It appears the studio Dr. Shen's staff have finally created, figured out how that, to turn their works, machines that on. That works on Fire Emblem. Uh, Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. And, um, and it was, and it is very, you know, even though it was made by the people who did Fire Emblem, it feels more like this than like Fire Emblem. And now I'm wondering, because I don't know who I got the Fire Emblem XCOM comparison from. I don't know if that just happened in my brain. It, but it might have been because I was like, oh, Codename Steam is is like XCOM and, and um, Intelligence Systems um, also made made that game. Uh, so let's see what we ah, got engineering. Commander, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. It's kind of weird how we don't really feel like we're. I mean, I don't. Sorry, I don't really feel like I'm um, playing a character. Um, I'm just playing as. I'm just the puppet master, but they're talking to me. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. It, it's a bit weird. Do uh, extra da da damage protection or medicate? I'm thinking the vest. Because it's cheaper and it has similar benefits. Um, yeah, we're using all soldiers. That's good. Um, yeah, let's make four of them. Fabrication of the nanofiber vest is complete, Commander. It has been delivered to the armory. Nice. Good work. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. New I mean, I... Weapons from engineering I would have... It would have been nice to have some, like, dialogue commander. trees or something. Oh, uh, let's see. Soldiers. So we get some new units. She gets promoted. Just like it sounds. The support class provides that intangible edge our squads oh, need. Oh, there's a they lot to talk about better. here. Um, so, why are support characters not always, but a lot of times, women? Like, like that's something that I've been noticing a lot of recently. You know, most of the... I don't have the exact numbers, but from my perspective, most of the support characters in Overwatch women um mercy was actually a man um if you look at old old concept art and um and then sh she got gender swapped which I, might, I actually think is a shame i think they should have um kept her as kept, kept mercy as a man and um and then um like gender swap one of the other characters because it's, it's because support roles are generally considered women's roles, you know, and that, that sucks. Like, that's not, it doesn't, it, it, it sucks. Um, and, and I don't think it's a conscious, e like, this doesn't feel like a conscious effort on the part of the devs. Um, can I move the camera? Huh. Um, load out. So, are these the... So, and the reason I wish Mercy was, um... I would appreciate, you know, I would appreciate it if Mercy 
was... Oh, here we go. Um, I would appreciate it if, if, if Mercy was a guy because they would, you know, Mercy is like kind of the least violent and most nurturing characters in the show, so that would have been a nice subversion of, of um, gender roles and assumptions. So, yeah. That's just a thought that I'm probably... <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, tons of people are gonna yell at me for that. Um, let's give them all the vests. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation just room. Just a sec. Can wait. It can wait. Uh, let's see. I kinda wanna, we got already got one American on the, Oh wow, I am just laying the controversial opinions. So, let's see. Let's do you. I don't know what country that is. Um, but, let's give him that. And you. Um, so right now, you know, in the last episode, I, I posed the question of how are they going to make me care for these, these characters, um, and the answer is, I, I don't, like, they're all function, they're all gameplay function and no, and no heart, at least from my perspective right now, you know, the, there's no, um, there's no, like, look at these guys. They're, I can't even see their faces. Um, they, you know, they aren't as interesting as, as Fire Emblem, so it's, it sucks when they die, especially if you've built them up, from what I hear, like, um, but it's also not the same Commander, as the council has requested a word. suddenly dying. Hello, Commander. We require your assistance with a unique matter. We expect that you will give it the same level of attention as you would for any other project objective. One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight Again, into the aliens' operation. Again, a subtle operation. reinforcement of we'll I wouldn't be bothered by the, the fact that the, the captain was a woman. Farewell, Commander. Um, we know you will not if disappoint they us. they also hadn't reinforced anything, things like this in other areas. Um, Sounds like we better get to it. Of course, then you're going to have... I'm going to have people telling me, like, that, um... The... Um... Uh, of course, then I'm going to have people yelling at me that, like, Oh, gender... Like, we, women shouldn't even have any... Any combat roles. And I mean, we just should, you know, we should have the military. To seeing your progress. So. Okay. Let's see, we I can't tell. Ramirez. Let's see. Let's check out the loadout. Um, nope. So clear unit. I want to see what we got. Uh, clear unit. Uh, any unit. Can't, again, I can't even remember these guys' names. All I all I remember is the flags that they had. So clear unit and a fiber vest. Uh, add unit. Yeah, definitely not gonna. Let's see. So this guy was one of them. Oh, Erica is still wounded. Um, Let's who's the other guy? This guy. And let's leave, let's let Erica recover. Um shh, shh, come on. Damn it, it's not letting me select her. Okay, let's go with you. Edit unit will let us choose the Damn it, that was that was a mistake. One well, I'm sure you veteran XCOM players could could see. I mean, these guys are so. I mean, these guys are probably like randomly generated. They're so 
like, like, look at this. You can just, you can just, you can just customize them. You can change things about them. Um, which just feels different, you know? Especially because the old, the most similar game I've played is Fire Emblem. You have various things here. Touching yeah. down. Cool. There was... There was a... There was a uh, play I was in, version of Three Musketeers, where I played Aramis. And the guy who played Porthos had to be like, I've got pure silk from India! With the super over the top. I don't know. This is kind of funny. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. India. You're looking for an Anna Singh, the only person known to have escaped from alien captivity. Our mission is to locate her somewhere on that block and get her out of there. I got you, Target. Hostile units find target. Oh, an escort mission! See, I, I don't get why, why developers still make escort missions. Like, I mean, extra credits did a video where they were like, oh, they wanted to make you feel like a hero and like you're not just killing things. But developers must have caught on by now that people hate these, right? Like, ugh. Unlike with Germany, I have no frame of reference. Take note of the extraction zone, zone people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. This guy's our best fighter, so I'm gonna move in here. Uh, let's see. I do like this like tense period where you're not sure where they are. Not to not to bring up Fire Emblem again, but in that game you could there would be surprises, like in the middle of battle, some more enemy units would show up. But I do, I do like um, how there's there's tension here. There's like, where are the aliens? Um, yeah. Steams ver had had something called Overwatch. Like it, it literally had, it had the same name um, for that mechanic. So it, they're they're pretty similar, is what I'm saying. That alien is a machine in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. How do I capture it and not just kill it? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. So is this gonna be like... Alright, this guy's gonna get out of there. Um... Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong character. Um... So... What does Hunker Down do? Doubles cover bonus and reduces sight radius. Okay, Hunker Down. Um. Oh, this is a weird. Ah, weird camera angle. Um. How do I change this? Oh, 
Overwatch, and this guy has got to get out of there. I'd be interested to, to know what they what they do to like what methods they use to to try and to, um. To, to determine when they when they cut to the more cinematic camera angle, I suppose, because there's stuff like this where it's like, okay, yeah, they're, they're of course they're gonna do it. Um, then there's other stuff where um, they um, they miss. Damn it. Um, oh, that is not good. Wait, Murakami? See, I can't tell any of these guys apart! like I don't know it's kind of disturbing but also kind of charming I don't know. oh boy overwatch so what does poison to do um, let's see. Uh, oh does that, does that mean I'll get shot if I move by any other enemy? Move up there. Alright, let's try this again, I guess. Shoot through the fountain. No, 
Oh, come on, dude. No. What's what's happening? No. <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> okay, so there you done? Are you done? Are you good? Get it out of your system. That's a cool risk reward system. Oh wow, they're both shooting. They both missed! Ha ha! Same thing! Gosh dang it. See it now. She's she's a name and a quest objective. That's it. Cover my flank. No. Uh, no, panicking. God damn it, dude. Fire. Nice. 
hostile neutralized. Alrighty, and you can go up here. You have to help me! There's just so many of them! They're everywhere! We have to get out of here! I don't know who you are, but I'd probably be dead right now if you Yeah, had to yeah, show yeah, me. I'm a hero. Commander, the game. we should get the VIP the back to the Sky Ranger as hero. soon as possible. Who am I controlling? Anna. Okay, I can. I ha okay. Having control over Anna is actually real. Is much better. The so the problem is, is anyone else gonna go this turn? No. Okay. Activity. So those yeah. things. They had so many bodies in there. I just don't understand it. Why are they doing this? What are the aliens' motivations? Alright, you get over here. Hannah is dashing in more ways than more ways than one, eh? Uh, too soon? Not not the right time. And yeah. Oh, I'll see myself out. Alright, we're gonna do an overwatch. I actually just got done playing. Overwatch with my friend Lord Fatara. So that was fun. Strike one. We've got a wave of X rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Alright. So we're gonna try and not. Because I don't think killing the aliens doesn't get you anything. I'm so, so sorry if you're a veteran Exxon player and you're like, you're doing it all wrong, you're supposed to get the alien corpse or whatever, and, and yeah. Let's see. Alrighty, actually, let's move Anna first. Yeah. I think about 3D maps, something that Fire Emblem <laughs> doesn't have. This is gonna become like Dark Souls, like Dark Souls references. Um, I'm just constantly comparing it to this one game, and everyone's gonna hate me by the end. Um, so yeah, the um, this is, but uh, the 3D kind of adds to it, the which is which is neat. It's not it's not just we needed good graphics, like they actually built it into the gameplay, you know, because this, you know, Enemy forces you can't, your it's way, hard to do this Get ready. 3D when they're on the other side of a, like, raised walkway, and so I'm, like, commanding these, sol these, these soldiers who are trying to sneak by, uh, see, like, you know, see, cover and all that. Um, alright, so we're gonna have Felix go here. Got something over here. Missed, yes. Okay, that's good. Alrighty. Here. And Usu, you stay in front of. Yeah. 
choose the oh Anna. Um you also you just keep your head down. Okay. I was gonna take another shot. There's another one. Whew. So We gotta kill the aliens? Okay. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Sorry I haven't been chatty, I've actually been pretty pretty invested in this. this is For the love of God, get me out no! of here! Uh... Executed to the numbers, strike one. Get back here on the double. Lost two operatives. Got all the aliens though. Rest in peace, you two. God 
Hollow targeting. I think we're gonna go with Bullet Swarm. And then. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Alright, running gun. Alrighty. All right, so it just automatically gets me into corpses. That's good. Remember, we will be watching. Uh oh. Situation. Commander, good news. The council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. I love they're just telling me basic information, and they're like, Air Commander, who doesn't know Jack about any of this, so... Let's teach you how to do it. Watch satellite. Come on, I can't choose anywhere but the U.S., really? With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause more to stun him. And what happens if it doesn't work? Is do you really think this is worth the risk? Is I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? I if agree. If we capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I mean, I can construct as a much safe as enough I facility like to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly dirty. communicate with it. Experiment to God, something. I will see to that. All right. I mean, they did I'll attack speak to first. The commander. Well, seemingly no provocation. Satellite coverage now available over the United States. Surge capture live alien except. Managed to successfully adapt the aliens and higher genetic level. Interesting. I, is that just the genetic structure thing? I'm hoping it's going to be like uh, foreshadowing for some twist of some kind in the future. Um, more likely, it's just that we needed to come up with an excuse about why we can tase the aliens and then kidnap them. Research team. It's only raises more question as to the origin of the, of the species. You, you're just a little bit off from the Darwin book there. Um, I, I actually wonder if that was an intentional reference. It's kind of in the middle, or it's like it's not super obvious. So it's not like a hundred. You can't just be like definitively like, oh yeah, it's definitely a reference to on the origin of the species or the species. I can't remember exactly what. Um, but it also is too similar to see if it's a coincidence. I think it's a coincidence. I don't know. Having examined several alien corpses, we observed a trend mirrored perfectly across each of the specimens. Um, a 
aggressive genetic engineering way beyond anything conceived of on Earth. The aliens are truly capable of this sort of manipulation at a cellular level if you're able to scratch the surface of their technological advantages over us. I keep thinking that, like, maybe Earth created them. I... I really don't know. Part of me wonders if this is a twist that they... That I, like, heard about and then forgot and I'm half remembering. Um... Yeah. So, we're gonna do an Independence Day. We're gonna, like, capture the alien and then, like, talk to it. And then they're probably gonna be, like, locusts. Oh, man. This was... I would honestly, like, love to see the alternate universe that results from 2015. It's... It's pro it would probably be a utopia compared to what we're going through now. <laughs> Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Stun gun. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval Happens for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Ugh. All right. Engineering. I'm probably gonna, just going to select this and... Commander, stop no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live That's specimen. That's kind With of a big approval, thing to overlook. My team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Facilities. I love it how it just says disabled for tutorial. We did not want to let you do this, and so we just disabled it. It's honestly refreshingly honest. So let's build the facility. Alien containment. So satellite uplink. I actually just want these other ones are. Um. Begin construction. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Alright. This feels like a good place to stop. We'll hear her plan next time. And then we'll hopefully capture a live alien. So, yeah. Um... This, I feel like there wasn't as much, as much to talk about. There were definitely some insights I found, and hopefully you guys got something out of this too. Um, let me know what you think. Um, if you, I, I, I am enjoying my time with, with XCOM, and despite all my nitpicking. Um, and I am looking forward to... Uh, play more if that's got what you guys want to see. Um, I think my video has like one view on the previous video right now, so uh, I might, I might, um, I might do. I'm never, I would like to continue this, but I might do a, another one and um, and uh, right, I might, I might do another one and then. Um, I might, I might try another, I might start another game and see if that does better, see if people, um, want to watch it more, and then I might have to put this on hiatus, um, but we will see, um, well, I mean, my channel's tiny right now, so I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna do at least a couple more of these before I, like, decide to try something else, or, so, um, yeah, um, until next time, um, you know, like, share, subscribe, do all the other things, um, help this, to help feed the algorithm, let the algorithm know that you guys like this, um, and, um, yeah, so, um, see you next time. Bye!